Hello and welcome to the uh, Zen Inroads user series. Um, this one in particular is going to be covering the geometry uh, auto annotation, as I call it, and specifically showing you how to set up and turn on uh, horizontal and vertical alignment stationing and annotation. So that when you are actually laying things out, the horizontal alignment, uh, the stationing is happening all automatically. And when you're laying out the vertical, the vertical annotation is uh, automatically happening. So basically what I'm going to do here is uh, lay out some geometry like you normally would, kind of show you the reaction, kind of the process, and then um, show you how to set up the auto annotation. And specifically, there's, there's three things that you need to do to really make sure this thing works. So first, let's um, do a little horizontal annotation just the way you normally would, or the horizontal um, alignment layout just the way you normally would. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I have a project here called uh, Zen Demonstration and I'm just going to create a new horizontal alignment. I have some created already I'm just gonna go ahead and create another one here just the way you uh, might normally do this here. And then when you create the uh, alignment normally you would also then assign a style to it based on uh, actually what this thing is and in this case I'm going to call it uh, a center line. So assign the style center line so that when it's laid out that it's drawing per the CAD standards the center line and just apply this. <clears throat> so I've got this alignment here H7. Uh, the next step would be to use one of the layout methods and I'm just going to use the, the add PI tool and you just go ahead and lay this out and you can see that this is what normally happens is it lays out the alignment and you're basically placing PIs. If you have the uh, design uh, tools turned on it will also place curves. I'm just going to go ahead and place a few things out here. So nothing unusual about this. This is the way it would uh, typically be done. Lay out the alignment and then once that's done then you would go and view the stationing. In the stationing you might load a specific preference in this case I'm just gonna just call it like this and just apply and you would view the stationing on there. Now with the auto annotation basically once that's set up during the layout process the stationing would happen uh, automatically. Now the way that that's done is when a horizontal alignment is created, it's given a style that controls its display of the alignment. In this case, I called it center line, something that was predefined in the XIN file. Now, the name of the style is, is important, so notice this it's center line. The way you set up the auto annotation is to take that name, go to the stationing command, set up the stationing however you're going to normally set it up, and then go to preferences and save it as that name. So we define the style as center line. We're creating a preference called center line. Okay. Now, one other step, which is to activate the um, auto annotation, which is under view geometry options. So the geometry options here is where you tell it what it is that you want to auto annotate. In this case, I want to annotate the stationing and I want to annotate the vertical elements when I'm doing the vertical geometry in the profile window, which I'll get to. You could also do some other things here, annotate the horizontal elements, bearings, distances, coordinate information uh, based on the geometry styles that are attached to it. So uh, in this case, I'm just going to do the vertical and I'm going to do the stationing. Now, the last step to actually have this really happen is to establish these settings, go to preferences, and do the exact same thing that we did in stationing. Save as the exact same name, centerline. 
So we've got a preference here that is identical to the style name of the alignment that we're laying out. And the same thing with stationing. We have a preference name that's identical to the style name that's assigned to the alignment. Okay, so now that this exists, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Let me just empty this from here. So now we have um, this alignment it's empty. And um, initially when I created it, it had the style center line on it. So now when I go in here to lay it out, you'll see that it's stationing it as I'm laying it out. This stationing is uh, always active now. So if I went in here, say uh, the table editor, or you could use the define curve, whatever editing mode, and change something here. You'll see that this changes and also restations it. Any modifications or moving? Move PI. Stationing is all now interactive based on the movements. Okay, so that is the horizontal. Now, as far as the vertical goes, very similar. I'm going to go ahead and create a new uh, vertical here. And I'm going to give it a style. Call it center line again. Let's apply that. Going to create a profile window so that we can then lay out the vertical. Just going to use the default settings here. And then uh, we're going to jump ahead and set this up for the uh, auto annotation. And by doing that, what we're going to have to do is uh, go to the vertical annotation. We're going to take these settings and just going to use the default settings here. And I'm just going to save it as center line. The same name as the style that's attached to the alignment. And since the geometry options preference is, has already been created called center line, now we have um, that synchronized. So we can just go in and start laying out the vertical. And go to the add PI and just lay out some points in here. And you'll see that as I'm laying these out, that it's also laying out the annotation. Just like the horizontal alignment stationing, I could go back into here to the move or any of the edit commands. And as I edited this, you see that the annotation is now dynamic and moving along with my edits. So, to summarize here, when you create your alignment placeholders under File New, if you aren't already in the habit of doing it, you need to get into the habit of creating your horizontal and verticals and assigning a style. This is a style from the style manager 
the styles that are set up in the XIN file. As you create these placeholders, you assign your style. Then to initiate the auto annotation, you need to go to the, the commands, view stationing or view vertical annotation, and you need to go to those commands and you need to set them up, go to preferences, and save a st the preference to be the identical name as the style. Any commands, the horizontal annotation, the vertical annotation, the hor vertical, the, hor the horizontal alignment stationing, you save the preference to be the identical name as the style. <clears throat> and then lastly, you would go to the geometry options. The geometry options is where you activate <clears throat> exactly what you want it to annotate. And just like the other preference, you would save that preference to be the identical name as the name of the style. So to summarize this, the three things that you have to do to enable the auto annotation is one, create your alignments and assign a style. Go to your commands, view stationing, view vertical annotation, view horizontal annotation, and set them up and save those preferences as the same name as the style. And then go to the geometry options and toggle on what it is that you want to auto annotate and save that dialog box settings as a preference using the exact same name as the name of the style. Now, one final note on case sensitivity, there, whether you're aware of it or not, there are certain areas of inroads in terms of styles or surface names and preferences that have um, some case sensitivity issues. This is one of those areas that has case sensitivity issues and you may get unexpected results uh, because of case sensitivity. My recommendation is that you make sure that everything is identically named, including case. So maintain case between the styles and the preferences here for best results. And that is it. So remember, make your life easier. Don't try to make inroads something that it's not. Understand how it works and just let it be what it is.